What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I was surfing Amazon.com and I found this. It's the world's smallest car. I don't really know if that's the world's smallest car. Maybe a working car? Uh, it's a solar car. And what you probably don't know as I unbox it, uh, first of all, it is totally, totally small. Uh, kind of looks like a mini Mars Rover is that you may not know, but the Panda loves solar cars. Actually, when I was a kid, I totally followed uh, the Sun Race USA. Um, I love the competitions that the colleges participate in, you know, uh, the solar car races, you know, a lot of colleges build their own solar cars. There's, uh, there's certainly a discrepancy in the car comp or the colleges that have money versus the colleges that don't, but I really dig it. Uh, I used to follow U of M being from Detroit. They always used to have basically an unbeatable solar car, the U of M, uh, solar team was just kind of well-funded, super creative, super educated. I mean, just really built some awesome stuff. So I was just intrigued by this because it wasn't expensive, uh, but it might be kind of a cool little toy and solar experiment. So first of all, the, the base here is plastic. It has kind of this hollowed out bump, which kind of holds everything. And then the front wheels are freewheeling, kind of like Hot Wheels. On the back are, there's a little gear there um, and you can see there's a little tiny motor, little DC motor right on the back here. So we're going to have, I presumably, if it goes this way, a rear wheel drive, rear weight bias. It's going to not be uh, perfectly 50-50 weighted, you know, um, no limited slip differential, you know, solid rear axle. So you're probably going to get a little wheel hop. It's certainly not going to be the nicest, the smoothest ride ever. And, you know, being rear wheel drive, it's probably not going to be great in, you know, winter or uh, bad weather conditions. Now, it looks like it is attached here to a solar cell under some sort of epoxy. And that, to me, looks like just a crystalline solar cell and not very big, like uh, maybe half an inch by, you know, two fifths of an inch or something like that. Looks like it's soldered up here and then the leads are right under there and go directly to the battery so or the, to the motor so here we go i've got this thing set up here let's go ahead and get the camera right down on it and now it's not running because we're under the low power of fluorescent lights now i do have a flashlight here with me and i do really like this flashlight this is the tac force flashlight i believe tac light ta50 and this thing is wicked powerful so if this doesn't get this thing moving i don't know what will so i'm going to turn it on here and, oh, oh, look at that. Holy smokes. That was cool. That was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and try it again. Whoa, there she goes. Um, so absolutely works. And again, we were right is the light. Um, this is the front, so it's geared to move this direction. And it does absolutely work. And that light, light weight certainly helps it move. So the cool thing about this is it's just kind of a cool little experiment. You know, I, I knew it wasn't going to do anything super exotic. But uh, if you take it outside and put it under sunlight and the thing runs, I think it just might be kind of interesting to people. So there it is. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you've got uh, people who are interested in a little bit of science, I think it'll be fun. Solar power car. Take off, car! There you go. It wasn't as dramatic of an ending as I was hoping it would be. Peter Mon Panda, out.